Well, if you've been thinking about buying an electric car, this may be the time to do it. The Department of Energy is teaming up with TVA and Oak Ridge National Laboratory to make it easier than ever to charge. Tonight, we're working for you with more on how to go green with ease. Last week, Chevy unveiled its new electric car, the Volt. Later this year, Nissan will roll out its all-electric LEAF. Many Americans have been reluctant to buy, not knowing how they might be able to recharge without a lot of hassle. And going back to the early 1900s, electric vehicles have been around, but the technology has not been mass-produced on a scale like this. But it's a problem that may be slowly resolving itself. Last week, the Electric Power Research Institute broke ground on one of the state's first solar-assisted charging stations for electric vehicles. Chattanooga and Nashville are next in line. In this market, if anybody ever wants to drive an electric vehicle, Tennessee will be one of the places in the United States where they can. In addition to the solar charging stations, the Department of Energy is giving away a thousand home-based chargers for people buying new cars. And finally, TVA is looking to build 60 DC fast chargers all over the state. They're much like a gas station that serves energy instead. It's a very exciting time in the, in the utility industry as well as uh, in Tennessee in general. Now, the plug is standardized, so that means that it will work with the Nissan, it will work with the GM Volt. It will work with all automotive manufactured vehicles for the U.S. And you can expect to see the solar assisted charging stations in place by the end of the year. That's when Nissan rolls out the LEAF. The first stations will hold up to four cars and it'll expand to 10.